G'day and welcome to another Aussie Smart tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the magnifying glass tool on your smart board or in smart notebook. It's actually quite a simple process but can be effective in your lessons. First thing to do is to type some text, the things that will be found by the students. In this case I'll just use a word smart board and I'll clone that and put it around the page. So these are the things that are going to be hidden. And to clone an object, the keyboard shortcut is Command D or Control D if you're on a PC. Now you'll notice the color of those objects. I've made a purple color. What I need to do now is change the background to that exact same color. So I'm going to right click, set background, just to make sure I get the same colour, I'll use the eyedropper tool here. So now the background has concealed those objects that we're going to try and find. Now what we need to do is open up the gallery tab and do a search for magnifying glass. And you'll notice there are three magnifying glasses that come up if you've got the, the usual uh, galleries. The one we're going to use is this one, not the transparent magnifying glass, the regular magnifier. Drag that onto your page and resize it to whatever, whatever size you prefer. Now you'll notice as I move that around, nothing is getting revealed. That's because this magnifying glass is sitting on a layer above the text that I've typed. So what I'm going to do now is order center back. So you'll notice now as I move the magnifier around, it reveals the different objects in the background. The only other thing you will notice is if you move the handle of the magnifying glass over one of the objects, it will also reveal part of it. That's generally not really too much of an issue. And that's how you use the magnifying glass to reveal objects.